In the heartland of America lies a hidden gem, a quest for every motorcycle enthusiast, the search for that perfect road in Ohio. Join us on this thrilling journey as we explore the winding path, scenic byways, and picturesque landscapes that await those seeking the ultimate two-wheeled adventure. We are determined to find that one road that offers the perfect blend of curves, scenery, and freedom. Is this the path that will lead us to our dream ride? Pioneer Pass is a breathtaking route for a motorcycle ride, offering a memorable journey through picturesque landscapes. As we embark on this adventure, we'll find ourselves surrounded by towering mountains, lush forests, and winding roads that offer both challenge and excitement. The road conditions are generally good, allowing you to enjoy a smooth and exhilarating ride. Whether you're a seasoned rider seeking a thrilling experience or an adventurer craving a connection with nature, a motorcycle ride on Pioneer Pass promises an unforgettable journey that will leave you with lasting memories. Well, hello everyone. Welcome to our channel. We are the Two Wheel Buckeyes. I'm Keith. I'm Don. And today we are heading through Southeast Ohio. We're gonna be going on one of the windy nines out of Athens called Pioneer Pass. Uh, this will take us over uh, along the river, Ohio River, to Marietta. We're going to stop for lunch at Boathouse Barbecue, which we absolutely love. And, uh, and then we'll loop back around and come back up through Athens, and then we'll head 33 back to Columbus. So this is, uh, this is a nice windy route. Uh, we wanted to take you along with us. So sit back, enjoy it. If you have an opportunity and like our videos, we ask that you subscribe to our channel to help us out and help us do some more videos for you in the future. So enjoy this ride, we'll show it to you and uh, see if you like it. In the meantime, let's grip it and rip it. This route takes us uh, along some really windy roads out of Athens. We'll actually hit a little bit of the triple nickel for several miles we will actually be on route 555 but then we'll uh, turn off a few miles down the road and head over towards Marietta I do have to say the Pioneer Pass route is one of my top three out of the windy nines. Got some amazing views. Yeah, I'll put a link um, to all nine of the routes. They all uh, originate out of Athens, but uh, obviously we're from Columbus, so we just come down 33 uh, towards Athens, and then this particular route picks up off 550 off of 33, so we just started there. We don't actually go all the way into Athens. This route at the beginning here winds through a lot of wooded area. We'll also see a lot of, a lot of farm country. link to the exact route down in the comments and also uh, the website to go to the windy nine website to you know to look at all all nine of them
nice elevation changes along with some twisties. About 880 feet. Look on the left, <laughs> right there. Yep. Very pretty. Rolling hills, lots of green. Hillside farms. That's yeah, really pretty. Of course, that's one of those situations where I just have to go off Don's description. Because <laughs> I kind of have a tendency to keep my eyes on the twisties. <laughs> and now we're coming out of Chester Hill, and this route actually does follow the triple nickel for a little bit. So you can get a little little shot of that. I think you can expect us to do the triple nickel in a video coming soon. Yep, we'll definitely be hitting that this year. I know they were doing some construction in some areas. Got to get a little more detail on that and we'll definitely be hitting the full length of the triple nickel. And we'll be turning off on 676. We're going left. To continue the Pioneer Pass route. following 676 pretty much into Marietta where we will be hopefully stopping for lunch at one of our favorite spots Boathouse Barbecue we'll definitely show that to you we love it there right on the river great food some elevation here.
as I recall, they have bike parking, mm -hmm. as I remember. Yep. <laughs> okay. All right, we got our motorcycle parking. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna head into Boathouse Barbecue. Technically, barbecue, brews, and views. Well, here we are at Boathouse Barbecue. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. It's about 80, not mm -hmm. too bad. Kind of partly cloudy, so you do get some yeah. shade or under the umbrella. You get some views of the river out here, and the food is really good. I will uh, show you the menu here. Let's see if we can get a view of the appetizers, salads, and the sandwiches. And over on the other side, got the platters, entrees, plenty of burgers, mac and cheese. I think we had that last time was really good. And even a kid's menu. <laughs> so we'll be deciding what we're gonna get here in just a minute. All right, we got some people docking here for lunch. As Don said, you can dock your boat right up here. Mm -hmm. And they brought our lunch here. So we are looking at the pulled pork sandwich, mm -hmm. mac and cheese side. And brisket, mac and cheese, and Texas toast. All right, so we are ready to dive in. We'll let you know how it was. Mm -hmm. We'll do a little shot here down by the river. See a big barge coming through. Coal. Plenty of boats. A couple boats here that are docked. And then you can see behind. You can see Dawn. Wave hi, Dawn. <laughs> All right, this is what it looks like on the patio area they have, and then they have. The inside, thanks. See, there's plenty of seating, bar area, plenty of nice, cool seating along here, and on to the outside. Thank uh you. -huh. All right, well, we just finished up our lunch at the boathouse, and we are heading west on 550, and we're going to be on that for a while, but uh, there's some nice twisty roads, but it was, uh, as usual, it was an awesome lunch at the Boathouse. Yeah, totally agree. Go hungry, for sure, because your portions are pretty decent size, so very impressive of what you get for your money. I think our bill was about $40 for the, for the meal we had, so pretty typical. Nice views, nice barbecue, so definitely recommend if you're in the area or right on down here and get in the area, it's a great destination. And the Pioneer Pass is a great way to come. Yep.
as the sun sets on this unforgettable journey, we realize that the quest for the perfect motorcycle road is not just about the destination, it's about the journey, the people we meet, and the memories we create along the way. And with that, we look forward to sharing this epic tale with fellow riders, inspiring you to chase your own dreams on the open road. Join us next time for another thrilling adventure as we discover the untamed beauty of the world through the eyes of those who dare to ride. We also wanted to take a moment to express our gratitude for your support and let you know how much we appreciate each and every one of you. If you're enjoying our content, we would love it if you could hit that subscribe button and become a part of our channel family. By subscribing, you'll never miss out on any of our exciting videos, updates, and exclusive content. Until next time, keep the wind in your hair and the passion for riding alive. Safe travels and may the road always lead you to new and exciting destinations.